Hey guys, and welcome to Gwent. My name is Jagaris, and open beta is just around the corner. I'm expecting it to happen in the next month or so. God knows this current patch has gone on long enough. But with that, a lot of people are asking, will there be an account wipe? Will all my cards be reset? Will I lose all my ore and all my scrap and my entire collection of cards, including all my premiums? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, you will lose all of your cards and all of your premiums. Your account will be reset and no scrap for you. Basically, yes, the accounts are going to be wiped. CDPR actually announced this way back in February. And I mean, it's kind of interesting they announced it in February and we still haven't seen open beta, you know, more than three months later. But, you know, whatever, that's a, that's a kind of argument for another time. But there will be an account wipe. Now, when it comes to paid content, if you happen to have spent all of your money on kegs, fear not. Because although you'll lose your cards, you will be given the number of kegs that you purchase with real money. So for example, if you spent 31 Norwegian Krona on two kegs, you'll get two kegs. If you spent loads of money on 60 kegs, you'll get 60 kegs. So you'll get the kegs to open that you spent real money on. Um, so although you will get the exact same cards, you will have, you know, kegs to open. You just get to reopen them all basically when the wipe happens. But then you have the free to play players thinking, you know, what about me? I grinded out loads of Gwent. I earned loads of ore. I opened loads of kegs. Uh, is that all for naught? Well, yes and no. So any keg that you end with ore, you're not going to get another copy of. I have heard people say that they think that you will get that, but that's not going to happen. So you're not going to get, you know, kegs that you previously opened with ore. But they are going to take your account level and your rank into account. So first and foremost, for every five account levels you get starting from level five, you receive two kegs. So if I rank up to level 35, I will receive 14 free kegs just for my account level. So if you're close to, you know, a multiple of five, it's definitely worth grinding out that next level just to get, you know, an extra couple kegs when the wipe happens. But more importantly, and this is why I kind of encourage anyone to play ranked. If you haven't started playing ranked yet, do it. You get two kegs per ranked level that you get. So the fact that I'm level 13 here means that I would get 26 kegs from my ranked level. So I only get 14 from this level, but 26 from my ranked level. And overall, with my current state, that is, you know, 40 kegs just for free from playing the game. So, you know, it is kind of generous that even if you've grinded out in open beta, you still get, you know, a bunch of kegs to kind of get you kickstarted. Um, and that's why I'm saying, you know, if you've hit level 10 or higher, get into ranked. Because, you know, grinding up to rank like 7, 8 isn't that difficult it's definitely doable even with cheap decks and that's gonna net you what like 14 to 16 free kegs so if you haven't started playing ranked already i would recommend doing that now on top of that you'll also get your ranked rewards for whatever rank you achieve so the higher the rank you achieve i guess the greater rewards i've never actually played gwent in a situation where the season ends so i have absolutely no idea what ranked rewards typically are but i imagine it, it consists of like scrap and ore and kegs um, and obviously the higher rank you get the more rewards you get so when the wipe happens you'll also get your end of season rewards um and then last but not least you also get the items granted as gifts from cd project red basically what that means is if they've given you anything for free you get that the, the kind of that what that effectively alludes to is premium uh gerald premium gerald so if we look at our filters and we look at our premium cards everyone who started this game should actually have a premium version of uh, gerald as opposed to the regular version and you can see him here in all his glory lopping off heads so this is the premium version of this card. And anyone who's played the closed beta gets this for free. So if you're in the closed beta, you'll get this as a carryover from open beta into, sorry, closed beta into open beta. So you get one premium card to start with. Um, hopefully, you know, there'll be more premium cards to come and they'll add some new ones. Because at the moment, the drop rate for premiums is god awful. I mean, this is all of the premiums in the game. So there's not that many. And I guess because there's not that many, the drop rate's pretty bad. But hopefully we'll see new premiums come in um, and you get free premium Geralt as well. So that's kind of it. So like, even if you are free to play, you know, based on my account level and my rank, I'm currently getting something like 40 kegs plus end of season rewards plus Geralt, uh, not including the, the kegs that I did buy. So, you know, the rewards I think are pretty decent. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Did you know about the wipe? Did you know it was coming? Because I feel like some people do know about it. Um, but a lot of people don't. Like, a lot of people have come in since February and since they made that announcement. And it's not really, you know, easy to find the information. Like, I googled Gwent open beta wipe and didn't get like cdpr's website as the top result so you know it's definitely it's definitely kind of out there but a little bit harder to find so i wanted to make this announcement because i felt like it was worth you know letting all my viewers know that the wipe is gonna happen open beta hopefully is coming soon and you know if you haven't done it already to start grinding out that ranked because there are rewards to be had for sure um but let me know what you think of the rewards in the comments below do you think cdpr is being generous do you think like 
they're being greedy? Do you think that the wipe shouldn't happen? I mean, I personally think like a wipe was definitely going to happen. You know, if you look at Hearthstone, you can't play Hearthstone really now. Like if I started playing Hearthstone now as a completely new player, I'm going to have a terrible time unless I invest a lot of money just because the game has developed so far forward. Whereas if Hearthstone had a wipe, that would be great for me. And I think as you transition into open beta and you get an influx of new players, it makes sense to have that wipe so that then everyone does start on more or less an even playing field. Um, so I'm not really unhappy about it. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And beyond that, keep an eye out for future Gwent videos. I've been Jagris, this has been Gwent, and I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Bye!